Hello everybody and welcome back to the KO channel. Haven't done a video on here for a while. My apologies to you all. I've been very, very busy with university, my studies and mock exams, along with big, long assignments, but I'm back. And then today, we're taking a look at a little bit of a uh, controversial figure. This has come in from Show Z store, uh, one of my site sponsors. Now, it's being sold as a fourth party, aka a, a bootleg. Uh, hence, it's on the old bootleg Ben channel. But uh, I can't see how it would be a bootleg so early on. Uh, personally, I think it's more likely to be a factory reject or uh, fallen off the back of a lorry, something like that. But it is, of course mp45 bumblebee uh, the only real flaws if any i found with this particular one is that these don't want to tab in as naturally as i would have liked but that's it i mean he looks exceptional i love the autobot insignia on there he is basically little a little tiny slot car that doesn't really roll <laughs> it's a little uh, slot car as opposed to a volkswagen beetle but he does exactly what he needs to now as far as accessories go i got this baggie that came with his gun and uh, we've got the laser pointer which again i'll show you when we get to his bot mode and two different faces as well as the I Love New York, which uh, just tabs on to the rear there. You can switch that out. And we also get a uh, spike. Spike is by far the worst part of this entire figure. Uh, even people critiquing Bumblebee's backpack, etc. This particular version of Spike has very warped knees and he is incredibly difficult to get to stand Let me just see if i can stand him up his legs just kind of really want to bend out sideways at this knee joint he's very difficult i had a recent photo shoot for this product and uh, spike had a little tiny little bit uh, sticky tack or blue tack on the base of his feet just to uh, get him to stand but we do have articulation his characterless face can look left and right he's got really kind of big shaved sections to the side there i don't know if they're meant to be his ears goodness knows but uh head is just ball mounted so maybe we can get some replacement parts uh, arm can go up and down we have an upper torso again ball mounted so that uh, can rotate left and right balls on his crotch <laughs> and then we get a pin on that knee but it's so so rubbery uh, that's where all the problem arises. Uh, it's just the rubbery texture of those knees. He does not want to uh, stand. But Bumblebee is not half bad. It's uh, this particular door here. I can't get to tab in. If I try and push and get, kind of get that to lock in, then it does tend to kind of pop open here. And then in turn pop open here so it's kind of that domino effect but i do have the seats up so maybe that's why i was trying to get the seats to stand upright whilst they're in there as well but i absolutely adore that little tiny penny racer as far as scale goes i mean that is mp10 that is a pretty decent scale and here we have him with his uh, comrade in arms, a regular masterpiece bumblebee. Oh, quite a bit of difference in scale there. I haven't quite tabbed that in, have I? There we go. But 
get the idea. Uh, this is definitely more of that penny racer style. It doesn't make it a bad thing. Now, as funky as this little thing is, uh, let's get it transformed up. It's tabbed in at a couple of different places. There's these uh, rear bumpers first. Those are tabbed in. That's going to free up that section there. You can see that the uh, doors are tabbed in to the front of this bonnet section. Now, mine, my particular model, has a loose pin. Uh, this pin here is actually very loose and it does keep popping out. So I may have to replace it with a small screw instead. Uh, maybe that's what was uh, wrong with it in the first place. Who knows? Uh, we can flop this up. I'm going to extend these legs like so and place these bits down. They tab in. And uh, this is on a twisty turny. Uh, this is actually going to just twist this way. Tab in. And if we come down to these legs, uh, this is actually going to rotate. This wheel will come all the way around. Until it comes in and sits square, like so. And then we can bring this in. And these are going to separate, like so. And this should form the back of the foot. And that's how we do the feet. Uh, this section here is now on a slider. So I can just slide all the way across and kind of really lines up with the back of that leg. Now this one I have to be careful with now because of this pin, you see. Definitely needs to be replaced with a screw. This is actually very recent. Yeah, it wasn't like that when I initially got it. This is me working out the transformation uh, without any instructions. Uh, now that he's precariously balanced on one foot, uh, let's complete the rest of the transformation. Oh, absolutely gutted. I really think I'm going to have to get a screw or something in there to replace that because it's going to affect his posability. Uh, my fault, nobody else's. I was just a little bit uh, heavy-handed, to say the least. So let's go to this top piece here. Uh, this is going to pull all the way down. And this section here is going to lift, like so. And we have these arms, which are on these folding flaps. Fold those down. And that allows this whole chest piece to come up and through, like so. Detach those, and bring your arms around and around so the pins are facing backwards. That then allows us to straighten up these arms. And it's a blinking foot. Uh, straighten up this arm, like so. There, and rotate the forearm accordingly. Uh, it's going to go this way, so we can bend that up. We're going to bring Bumblebee's head all the way up to the top, like so. And when it was up, it was up. He's going to push forwards and push forwards. So this slots all the way in. These tyres are then going to come over and into that centrepiece, like so. Rotate the waist, lift this up, lift these arms up. This is going to compress down, and you see there's this sliding hinge. It's going to slide all the way up so it's nice and level at the top. We then have this tab here. This comes down. This rotates all the way up and comes up and forms like a faux rear tyre. These come in like so and come in like so. It's going to fold up, down, and up like so. 
make sure this is up nice and high. And then this is going to come all the way up. And then this should, he says, just slide in there like so. And we can bring the arms down and then rock the head back. So there we have him. Um, other than me breaking his foot. Uh, He's not bad. Uh, the The backpack is untidy. Uh, I've seen a couple of mods that people have done which uh, tidied up slightly. It's still very kind of compacted in there, but at the same time, you can get him in some fairly decent poses where the backpack is still visible, and he still doesn't look awful. Let's bring these uh, toe sections down. Give him a little counterbalance. I mean, I think he looks pretty darn decent. I mean, especially if you bring in the likes of Prime, who again is done in that animation style. I don't think you're going to have uh, many worries. I mean, he looks the part from the front. Uh, yes, there could be other stuff we could do to make him look kind of more cartoony. And if feet do need modifications, especially mine now. <laughs> no, but I mean, all in all, I think he's a good looking bumblebee. And I mean, he's a bit of a mass shifter as well. He was quite frankly, a much smaller car in his vehicle mode. And now look at him, he's got this gorgeous, vibrant yellow, really nice matte gray, very cartoony finish. Uh, we've been asking for the animation style characters and they're delivering them, uh, yes. His rear end is not the most desirable, especially uh, the feet, which I, th I think you can modify by bringing the tire up slightly at a different angle. So then we can angle those two back sections. Uh, but uh, like I said, I, I managed to pop my pin out on mine. So whether I replace that with a screw or another pin, I'll do something, but for now, I can't really do a great deal with this one. I do really want to stress though, it wasn't an issue until I pushed it in the direction it really wasn't meant to go. But never mind, uh, worst things have happened. Anyway, head can look up, down, left, and right. Nice little rotation around there as well. Nice physical tilting. Shoulders around, up and down. Upper bicep rotation. Now we've got a double jointed bend on that arm there. There is a waist rotation in there. As far as I can tell, the nearest we get to a waist rotation, uh, ab crunch is the legs moving backwards. Like so, we do have hip skirts to the side, on either side, allowing for legs to come out to the side like so, and then come forwards this much, like so. We do get upper thigh rotation. We do get a double jointed bend on that knee and when the ankles work they do tilt quite nicely and then go up and down but they all depend on that singular pin um which uh needless to say is a little bit terrifying uh, this is the kind of like the mod that i saw going around for the foot bringing that wheel up does uh, kind of arch the foot up slightly like so, yeah, but still fairly decent flat base. I still really don't think there's a way of getting that to tidy up really. It's uh, just all on this one pin, isn't it? That's a lot of pressure. Let's take a quick look at his gun. His gun is a little tiny sharpshooter with a pew pew razor beam on there as well, we just open up one of these hands and there is a slot on either side so it can be mounted. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Doesn't really look too bad at all. Now let's take a look at those alternative faces. And it's probably one of the most neutral faces. But we can just uh, flip that up and come under the chin, pop that off and uh, done this so many times now these pieces here just get stuck the faces actually come in two parts with the eyes and the face 
kind of guy like that. There we go. There is his kind of chubby cheeks again. And then uh, last but by no means least. Laughing face. There we go. Looks very cheerful, doesn't he? So there we have him, the little yellow bug that nobody loved. <laughs> I actually like the mould. Uh, I like the Penny Racer style look for Bumblebee, and I prefer this bot mode over his chunky bot mode. Uh, but at the same time, those pins on the ankles are unforgivable. I didn't apply a great deal of pressure there at all. It's just a, a regular amount, but it was enough to pop that out of position. And for me to now I'd have to try and fix that somehow. Maybe a little dab of glue or something in there. Uh, it was a fairly cheapish piece in comparison. I didn't get uh, instructions or coins or anything like that with it. Uh, I'll include a link in the description below where I purchased it from. Not sure how many of these shows he got, but I imagine that they've probably got the official ones in now as well. But uh, all in all, it's a nice little piece, but it is definitely not without its flaws. Uh, I will include a link, takes you through to my Flickr account, uh, just a few pictures that I posted up on there showing him what he can do when his feet aren't broken. And I'll do it next time for myself and Bumblebee. Thanks for watching, goodbye.